I'm going to make you the host. And then, yep. You should be the host now. I am. Awesome. All right. Then in about two minutes, you can kick it off, and then you're going to switch it back to me. Cool. Welcome, everybody. If you are here for the How to Get Others to Grow Your Business for You class sponsored by Josh Turner of Linked Selling, you're in the right place. We will go ahead and get started in just about two minutes. see that Facebook is coming out with their own currency? I've been hearing rumblings of that for a little while. I know that they've been investing a lot in blockchain, stuff like that, but yeah. no. I, They're now coming out with their own cryptocurrency. Cool. So you'll be able to take money or on Facebook. That makes sense. And it'll make them a couple billion extra bucks in transaction yeah. fees which yeah. makes up for losing some advertising revenue. Yeah. I mean, are they really losing advertising revenue? I don't know. Yeah, well, since they started restricting all of the data that we used to have access to, there have been advertisers who are leaving. Some are, but you know, their stock has just been exploding over the last few months and their earnings reports are, you wouldn't know that any of that's happening. Also true, also yeah. true. Well, they're very happy, people are very happy about the cryptocurrency stuff. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it makes sense for them. I don't know if it's good, but it, right. it makes business sense for them to do that. Yes. Just another way for Mark to get a piece of our wallets. Yeah, I guess we'll have to buy some of that. I'm not giving you investment advice nor making any recommendation. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got three o'clock on my watch if you want to uh, kick it off and then obviously when you're done, make me the host back. Yeah, absolutely. So um, everybody, thank you so much for being with us here today. I am, uh, I'm super excited for today's training and, and what we have in store for you today because I've known our guest today, Seth Green, for a long time. We originally, we met years ago. We were both at the same Dan Kennedy event and um, during Dan's first presentation, of the event about the state of the industry, he was talking about Seth and this, these cutting edge marketing strategies. Um, and he was just going on and on and on about it and, and made him stand up so that everyone at this huge event knew who Seth was. And needless to say, he was basically mobbed this entire event. And um, nonetheless, he made time to come to my session uh, during that event. And he immediately understood like what we do and, and wanted to bring me on to one of his top rated podcasts to kind of share our system with his listeners. And, and we've really um, just been keeping in touch ever since and speaking at a lot of the same conferences and bouncing ideas off each other um, and working on some different projects together. And um, Seth was on one of the, uh, one of our top 20 um JV partners on our latest launch. So top 20 on our leaderboard. And that is despite competing against a lot of people like um, Brian Tracy, uh, Evan Pagan, um, people who have email lists in the millions. And so that's saying something. And when Seth shared with me what he's developed over the last year, I knew that it would really take the, the already great results that our programs generate and really um, pour rocket fuel on them. And it's really, uh, in the simplest terms, it's a way to get your 50 top dream referral sources and centers of influence, if you will, to promote your business, not only promote it once, but to promote, it, promote your business four times before you even ask them to, and to build a relationship with them in such a way that they are happy to share your mission and your message and your work and your company's information, and your offers multiple times a year. So think about this and, uh, and think about this question. What would your business look like if, if you had a sales force of 50 high level 
centers of influence, very influential referral partners promoting your business? And, and what if every one of them was doing it? Um, what, what if you had literally had one every week for a year, right? And think about that. Think if you had 50 really powerful centers of influence promoting your business and you had one doing it every single week. And think about the momentum that you would create in your business. And, and I mean, it's just, um, there's not, not many other systems out there that can achieve this. And, you know, the, the, the bottom line with this is, is what if you could have other people growing your business for you? And that's what we're talking about here and why I brought Seth on to share this system with you guys. Um, and uh, Seth, if, if you guys aren't familiar with him, he's a direct response marketing expert. He's a seven times best-selling author. He's been interviewed on NBC and CBS and Inc. and Forbes. Um, and also, which is, this is really, really cool. Uh, he is the co-host of the Sharkpreneur podcast, along with Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank. And that just got named uh, as the top six podcast to listen to in 2019 by NASDAQ. So that's really, really cool. Um, and his process has worked for all kinds of businesses all over the country. He's used this exact process to generate over 74 centers of influence to promote his direct response marketing firm, which is marketingdominationllc.com. And uh, it's currently working for um, the uh, you know, five to 10 exclusive clients that his team is serving every month. And so I mentioned that so that you know that, you know, you're getting access to a strategy here today, guys, that not everybody knows about is super strategic, long-term thinking, very forward thinking. It's just smart. And not that many people know about it because Seth is very selective about who he works with. So I'm excited that today he's going to be revealing this for you guys. Sorry, there's like a, sounds like a Mack truck just drove by. I'm working from home today. Um, and so Seth is going to be revealing this today. It, it, the, 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 the workshop today is titled Three Secrets to Getting Others to Grow Your Business for You. So Seth, thanks so much for joining us today. I am really excited for everybody in my community to learn what you're about to share. And uh, of course, I'm excited to have your company implement this process for us. And so for those of you um, who are fast action takers with us here today, just know that that first slot that he offers is already mine. So there's probably <laughs> only going to be six more available. So with that Seth, I'm really excited about this. I don't want to talk too much. I've already probably gone on too long, but let's dive in and get started. Hey, that's all right. Um, anytime you want to uh, talk too long about uh, me, I'm okay with that. All right. So we are going to dive right in. Um, thank you for that awesome introduction, Josh. I really appreciate it. And obviously our friendship over the years means a lot to me. Uh, Josh is a brilliant marketer as well, and, I, I, and like he said, as soon as I saw his presentation at Dan Kennedy, I became a fan and said, sign me up for that, um, and obviously, we're hoping you do the same thing. All right, so let's go. Uh, three secrets to getting others to grow your business for you. Um, first couple quick questions. Um, let's make this kind of interactive um, so I can answer questions and we can kind of customize this as we go. What is a client worth to you? Because obviously to have an exclusive arrangement the way we do, our services aren't cheap. You can do this yourself and we're gonna teach you how. But if you want, just to make sure it'll work for you, what is a client worth to you? Do you sell, I mean, are you getting paid $1,000 by a client, 5,000, 10,000, um, 100,000, 50 bucks? Just type in the chat box. Uh, let's get some interaction going. Um, let's see, Adam, Alistair, Bill, Carmen, Chris, David, Bruce, Kristen, Tayton, Gary, just give me um, an idea. Um, what is a client worth to you? Type it in the chat box. Uh, 1,000 to 10,000, awesome. Good job, Chris. What, who else we got? Type it in the chat box. There will be a special prize that I will give away at the end for one person who has been interacting. So just so you know. All right, 5,000, 500. 10,000, okay, I see the answers coming in, awesome. Okay, 30,000, awesome, Ed, Mal, I have no clients, I have not started yet. Okay, awesome, well, congratulations, you're in the right place, let's dive in. Um, Long-term value, lifetime value, says Ed, absolutely, five to 435 cases, Sherilyn, Adam, UK, three to 50,000 pounds, awesome. 
Um, so again, what's a joint venture partner worth to you? What's a referral source worth to you? Obviously, someone who could bring you more than one $5,000, $10,000, $50,000 client could be worth, you could put some zeros on the end of those numbers, right? So what other people say about you is more powerful than anything you could say about yourself. Josh did a great job um, introducing me. I really appreciate that. Gary says 1,000 each with a minimum of five, so 5,000. That's awesome. Let's take a look. Hey, this is Paul Partridge from uh, HaydenRock.com. Just wanted to uh, take two minutes to say uh, what our experience has been on the uh, podcast. We have one called the Accounting Success Podcast, and um, we've had a number of really great guests. People seem to be thrilled to uh, just to be asked to be on it. So that part is great. It's been great for uh, us getting our word out. But kind of on the oh shoot, I hit the wrong button. On the results side, our book is about uh, a month from being published. And before it's even published, we already have uh, clients that are signing up uh, from the podcast. So in terms of return on investment, we'll already have fees in excess of anything we paid, certainly to Seth and uh, his team before the book even gets published. So we're way ahead of the game. We feel like we're only in the second or third inning. And so by the time we get to uh, inning number nine, it's going to be even better. But um, the, it's off to a great start, and we couldn't be happier. Could you, can you type in the chat box? Can you hear, could, did you hear Paul? Hey, this Paul. I just want to make sure I hit the right sound button. Could you guys hear Paul? Just give me a quick yes. Yes. Okay, Chris says he could hear. Bill raised your hand. Okay, everybody says yes, 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 yes. Bill, you raised your hand. If you're looking to add, ask a question, put it in the chat box. Um, so that's Paul. He's in the accounting field. This is the book that came out of his podcast, Changing the Face of Accounting. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Uh, this is Craig Turner, who's a political consultant. He's the guy who you hire, the hired gun, you bring in to win a local election for you. So if you want to be school board, county commissioner, local mayor, comptroller, Craig's the guy you hire. Um, that's one of the programs he did with us. I'm going to share with you, if you'll stay to the end, how you can get this all done for you. Although <laughs> Josh already took one of the slots, so that's awesome. I didn't know he was gonna do that. All right, so let's dive in. All right, so this is Roger Bannister. And May 6, 1954, he was the first human to break the four minute mile barrier. He ran a mile in under four minutes, meaning three minutes, 59 seconds, um, and four tenths of a second. And before then, it was no one could run more than, could run faster than four minutes in a mile. Doctors said it was impossible. They said the body wasn't meant to run that fast. They said your heart would explode if you did it. But the amazing thing is that the day after, since Roger Bannister broke the four minute mile, over 1400 runners have done the same thing because they now all knew it was possible. And there's literally a major motion picture starring Kim Basinger about um, how he did it and his development. So my four minute mile was this book called Cutting Edge Marketing Magic. As Josh said, I've written seven bestsellers. This was number four. Um, and those first three I wrote myself. I literally wrote every word of them and boy, was that a lot of work. So I, I figured out the process I'm gonna share with you and then we put it on steroids and I'll show you that. Um, but when I wrote Cutting Edge Marketing Magic, I interviewed 15 of the top marketers in their world in, in, that I thought were amazing, that I wanted to build relationships with and learn from. And I interviewed them and I recorded those interviews and I transcribed them and edited them and turned them into a book. Um, and the reason I did that is because I wanted to get in the door with those people and learn from them and get referrals from them and work with them without cold calling, without networking, without doing all of that stuff. And how that process came about is Josh mentioned um, me speaking at a Dan Kennedy event together. I did have the good fortune to find and hire Dan and start working with Dan Kennedy 13 years ago. And the first thing Dan told me was you got to be an expert. And at the time, all right, it was, uh, it was I, I was in my early 20s. And I said, um, how am I going to get perceived as an expert? I don't know anything yet. And he said, that's easy, write a book. And I said, what am I going to write a book about? I don't know anything yet. And one of the assignments, first assignments he gave me was to go read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, how many of you, if you've read Think and Grow Rich in the chat box, can you type, uh, I've read it um, in the chat box or a me. Thank you, Lori, if you've read it. Give me an affirmation there, which Think and Grow Rich is an interview book. This is a The Laws of Success from 1925, which was actually the book that he put out before Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich is the shorter version. And he interviewed 500, of the reason why it's so long, he interviewed 500 of the most successful people of his time, and thanks to Andrew Carnegie, and then wrote the 13 principles that he learned about what made them successful. So I realized Think and Grow Rich was an interview book. 
I could do an interview book. Anybody can do an interview book. So I decided that's how, think, how, how Cutting Edge Marketing Magic came about. I interviewed those 15 people. And what I did was right about this time, I started listening to podcasts. And I realized, hey, wait a second. All those podcasts I'm listening to are interviews. I just did 15 interviews. What if I throw them up on iTunes as a podcast? What if I figure out how to get them up on iTunes as a podcast and see what happens? If I air one a week, I've got over three months worth of content before I need to do a new show. But I made a huge mistake. I literally aired the unedited conference call recording as my show. So you literally heard the phone ring. You heard me, the person pick up. You heard me talk. You heard us say, hey, thanks so much for doing this. This is why we're doing it. You heard the preamble, all that stuff that should be edited out. You heard all of it. And the audio quality back then wasn't as good as, let's say, a conference call service would be now. Um, so I was sweating bullets when I put it up, but it worked. People in, in the reviews of the show, they would say the audio quality is terrible. There's no production value at all. No intros, no outros, no bumpers, no music, no nothing. But the content was really good. Um, and it took off and all of a sudden I had a show and we started getting business from it and referrals from it and unintentionally, it was by accident. And I said, oh my God, we got to do this right. So then I hired people and we got graphics and show uh, music and bumpers and we made it, you know, announcers and we made it a real show. And then we figured out a whole bunch of other ways to use the show to generate a whole lot of referrals for our business and that turned in and a whole lot of business for our business and that turned into this process uh, that's one small part of the process you're about to learn about quick question um, before we move forward let's just make sure what business are you in if you could type that in the chat box for me what business are you in management consulting awesome leadership development awesome financial services awesome Consulting, awesome. Health insurance, business consulting, artist. A motto, moto, I think you waited for the most unique answer. B2B sales, okay, awesome, great. We've got a wide mix, but a lot of business to business professionals. Moto, I'd love to know what kind of artist you are. That's awesome. So coaching instructors, okay. So this is for you if you've got a high transaction value. So if you're selling $3 slices, $2 slices of pizza, at a pizza parlor, this isn't gonna work. It's not gonna be worth the time, effort, or investment if you hire us to get it done for you. If you've got a transaction value of, let's say $1,000 or more, and obviously the higher the better, this starts making economic sense. You've also gotta have 30 minutes a week. That's how long it takes to get it done. And then you've gotta be coachable. We've done this over 80 times. And we've broken our system 79 times. And I think we finally got one that's working that no, that, that is working all the way through. Um, so if you follow our instru if you follow it step by step, it will work. If you let us do it, it'll work. Um, but you gotta be coachable. You can't try and break it and reinvent the wheel. Mel, virtual television show. Cool. Uh, this is also for you if you're tired of being one of the best kept secrets, right? If more people knew about you in your industry that would explode your business, then this is for you because it's one of the best ways to stop being a best kept secret. Uh, this is David Braun and I'm gonna show, I've got stacks of stuff that we're gonna talk about here. This David Braun, he says, and this is about the book part of the program. There's a whole lot of parts to it, but he says, sorry for the delay. The book has already been a huge success. The response has been very positive. I've already gotten business and referrals from them, from the accountants and attorneys he wanted to get in front of as a financial advisor, and my book isn't even out yet. I'm very happy with my results so far. This is Lori Ellis McLeod, who's going after business owners in Madison, Wisconsin, and you'll see in the top right, her book, part of the project, got up to number four in finance, number 20 in entrepreneurship, and some of those people in that picture were at a launch party for this program. So what would it be like for your business, if, like Josh said, if you literally had 50 joint venture, affiliate, referral partners, center of influence, whatever you want, your dream 50, whatever you want to call them, who literally one a week would be out there promoting your business? What would that do for you? It's, so I'm, a, I'm going to share with you exactly how to do that, the three secrets to getting others to grow your business for you. Now, the, my goal for this web class is to teach you that the only way to truly scale your business is to get other people to grow it for you. Because no matter how good a marketer or salesperson you are, you're going to run out of hours in the day. And if you have 50 people, they all have 50 times the number of hours a day you have. 
So that's a huge amount of leverage. The only way to get others to grow your business for you, we're about to talk about this. You're going to put them on an audio podcast, put them on a video podcast, put them in a blog post, put them in a book, put them on social media and promote them. They'll promote it five times before you ever ask them for anything. And then you'll ask them to actively promote their business. And because you added value five times in a row, they're going to say, yes, you're an abstract artist moto. Okay. All right, so my goal is, here's the deal. If I can make you believe the best way to grow your business is to get others to grow it for you, then you agree that you're gonna go all in. Now, what does going all in mean? I travel, I speak at a lot of conferences a lot, as Josh mentioned, this guy is not all in. That guy is all in. So you're gonna go all in. And what does that actually mean? I'm gonna show you something that is gonna have a retail sticker price of $33,010 when we get to the end of this presentation. And I'm going to show you how it's going to be the best investment you'll ever make in your marketing. Now, if you stay to the end, I'll show you not only how you won't pay $33,010, how you can actually get it for free. So stick with me. But let's say you had to invest $33,010 to get this to work for you. How many clients do you need to pay for that, to recruit that investment? Um, our folks who say 5,000, you need what, six or seven? Our person who's got 10, 30, 50, I mean, some of, you people, some of you folks only need one client to pay for this whole thing. And like I said, yep, Craig needs 10, Gary needs seven. You're not going to pay that, um, but just in case. All right, so you're one partner away. I mean, Russell, our friend Russell, our mutual friend Russell Brunson says you're one funnel away. I say you are one partner away from transforming your business. I've had partners throughout this process where that one person did one thing for me and blew the door, put a zero on the end, you know, of our revenue and made a huge difference and it keeps happening um, or it doubles our revenue or it dramatically increases. So we're, again, we're going to share this. Um, I can't see you. So normally I would ask you to raise your right hand if we were in person and say, Seth, when you convince me that the key to scaling my business is to get others to grow it for me, I will go all in. I can't see you or hear you. So just type amen in the chat box for me. Give me an amen. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Steven. Hey, Bob. Hey, Steven. Hey, Dale. Hey, Johan. Sorry, I want to give a shout out to the people who are watching this on Facebook. Amen, 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 amen. Awesome. All right. So again, Cutting Edge Marketing Magic was the book that launched this for me. Um, as Josh mentioned, I've been interviewed on NBC, CBS, Forbes, Inc., um, I've been written about in the financial services industry where I started, top two trade journals, registered rapid insurance, Newsnet. This is my wonderful wife, Rebecca, and our three kids, Max, Lily, and Ella. And there, as you can see, I met my book signing at Barnes & Noble. That was my first one for my interview book, Market Domination for Podcasting, which is on the shelves at Barnes & Noble, Walmart, Target, and of course, Amazon. So super cool to walk into the grocery store, Walmart, and see your book on the shelves. Those are the other six, that's seven books. Um, technically, I'm now up to eight because I wrote a, a short novel for my daughter, um, which is a fairy tale. And I'm currently working on books nine and 10. Now, to grow your business, obviously, you are a fan of Josh Turner or mine on Facebook. Um, I'm going to assume you're here because of Josh and say you've probably learned from some of his LinkedIn strategies or hired them to link selling um, to grow your business for you, but perhaps you've also whipped out your credit card and tried Facebook ads, right? Um, you built a Facebook fan page for your business. If you have a fan page for your business, can you type in approximately the number of fans you've got? No judgment here. Some of you might have 10. Some of you might have 100,000. That's okay. Just type in approximately the number of fans you have. 1,700. Awesome. 122. Again, there's no shame. Everybody starts somewhere. 27,000. Awesome. 500. Awesome. Okay. Now here's the problem you might've noticed. If you 16,000, 2,054. Awesome. 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 Way to go, Don, Mel, Ed, Gary. Here's part of the issue. You may have noticed if you put a post on your Facebook fan page, like less than 1% of your fan base sees it. So even if you had 100,000 fans, like if you're lucky, 1,000 people see it. So you got to whip out your credit card and run Facebook ads in order to get people to see your content now, right? Craig says your clients don't hang out on Facebook. Okay, so maybe you're running LinkedIn ads and we can talk about that too. But you'll notice Facebook has raised their ad prices 43% this year. That's part of what Josh and I were talking about earlier in terms of their increased revenue. So perhaps you said, wow, that's expensive. I'm gonna whip out my credit card and try something else. Um, Sherilyn is not on Facebook. That's okay, you don't have to be. 
Um, so you build a Facebook group because those are supposed to do the hot, be the new hot things. However, the only problem with a group is you can't advertise in it. You can't run ads to members of a group, even if it's yours. All you can do is put a post at the top of the page, pin it to the top and hope people see it. So you whip out your credit card and you try something local perhaps. Perhaps you join BNI or Chamber of Commerce or some other networking group where you go to an industry event, but you add all that up and you don't get the results that you're looking for. So I'm gonna share with you something that actually works where we get the three secrets to get others to grow your business for you. Real quick, before I go through the three secrets, I just wanna ask how many referrals did you get last month? Type in the chat box for me. Two, Lori got two, awesome. Zero from Gary. Seven from Mark, one from Sherilyn. Okay, so we wanna put some zeros on the, all right, so the people who have zero don't want another zero on the end of the number. Um, but if you got seven, how'd you let 70 would be a whole lot better, right? All right, so here are the three secrets. If you're gonna take notes, now would be a good time to start writing these down. I'm gonna share all three of them and then we're gonna go in depth one at a time and show you how to do it. So number one is give first. Number two is give to who. Number three is give how. And I'm gonna explain what all of those mean in just a minute. So give first. You're going to add value to your ideal centers of influence before you ever ask them for anything and you're gonna create reciprocity and then they're going to want to give back to you. Notice Josh said I was in the top 20 referral partners for their latest launch. So when I said, hey, Josh, can't, do you want, this is what I'm doing, this is what we're working on. And he said, oh gosh, I'd love to share that with my list. Because again, I just built up a huge amount of value with Josh being number 20 on his leaderboard, driving a bunch of businesses way. So of course he was happy to give back. Um, one of the reasons why a podcast works so well is because Mary Kay of Mary Kay Cosmetics says that there are two things people want more than sex and money, recognition and praise. And putting them on air, even in front of seven people or 122 people is still a way to make them feel recognized and praised in some way, shape or form and works. Um, so again, as a podcast host, you are essentially a reporter and you get to ask people all kinds of interesting questions and get them to talk about themselves because everybody's favorite radio station is WIIFM, which in case you don't know, stands for what's in it for me. So you're going to put them on an audio podcast and they're going to share with their followers who are your ideal prospects that they were on your show. Then you're going to share, put them on a video podcast, put that video on YouTube. Oh, and by the way, the audio podcast goes to iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. And the video podcast goes on YouTube. And then they're going to share that they were on your web TV show. Then you're going to push that out on social media. So you're going to give them what they need to make a Facebook post, a Twitter tweet, a Instagram post, a LinkedIn status update. So remember, They've promoted your, they've shared your audio show. They've shared your video show. They've shared you on social media. You're going to have the episode transcribed, turn into a blog post. That's a long form SEO optimized blog post. And then they're going to share the blog post. So now we're up to four. And then when you've got 10 or 15 blog post interviews done, that usually ends up being like 150 to 200 pages. And you've got a book, a physical bookstore book. So you have now promoted them five times. They have shared it because it's in their self-interest too with their audience five times. So their audience knows who you are so that then when you ask them to do a direct promotion for you as opposed to one that was about them, they say yes, because they're happy to because you just overwhelm them with all of this value in advance. So that's give first. You're giving value in advance to create reciprocity. But who are we going to do that with? That's give to who. So we've got to identify who your target market is and then who has those people as their clients, who, who would be a good referral source. So I'm going to play with role play with somebody on the call. Um, who would like to play with me for a minute? Type I would in the chat book for first person. Me, please. Lori wins. Fast fingers contest. All right, Lori. Um, remind me what you do. Lori is management consulting. Okay, so tell me about management consulting, Lori. Who do you consult for? Who is your ideal management consulting client? And if you're not camera shy, I'll bring you on camera if you want, you let me know. Do you, 
okay to being on camera. All right, let's go find Lori and see if we can add her. Allow to talk. All right, Lori, you got to unmute yourself. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I can hear you. Um, you could turn on if you want. I don't know if you can turn on your camera if you're dressed for video. I don't know where to turn it on. So okay, don't worry about it. We'll do audio. That's fine. If I knew where to turn it on, I would turn it on. But there I don't should know. be a share camera on the, a camera on the bottom left, and a drop yeah. down next to that would say share video. No, I just have audio. Okay, then don't worry about it. That's fine. You're that's okay. fine. Okay, so your clients are franchise franchise ors. Tell yeah, me about that. Yeah, franchise ors. So give me an example. Who was one of? Are you allowed to disclose like who a recent client was? Yeah, we, a recent client, for example, is Little Caesars. Oh, okay. So we're all obviously familiar with the pizza business. Okay. So do, are you dealing with Little Caesars corporate or each individual location? I deal with the franchisor, so I always deal with corporate. Okay. So then who is the decision maker at corporate? The CEO. Okay. So you're dealing with the CEO of Little Caesars? Yes. Okay, and other franchise companies. So this is awesome. So this is so perfect for you. This is, I, I, we did not plan this. We have never met before. Um, I did not set this up, uh, but this is perfect. Okay. It's perfect for me because I've been, I've had my management consulting for 18 years and I would say 75% of my business comes from referral sources. Awesome. Okay, so who's the example of a referral source who could get you in with the CEO of Little Caesars? Um... It could be their attorney or their accountant. Okay, so would that be, would Little Caesars have an outside accountant or would they have an in-house CFO? They would probably have an in-house CFO. Okay, so then you're looking at the CFO, chief legal officer, house counsel, or CEO of a large franchise company. Either that or I'm looking for law firms and accounting firms that have franchisors as clients. Aha. Okay. Perfect. That's a better source for me. Okay. So you just identified who the people are who are going to be the guests on your show. Yes. So you're going to interview the accountant, accounting firms and legal firm, the accountants and lawyers at those firms who work with those franchise companies. And then when they share that they were on your show, the audio version, video version, social media, blog post, and that they're in your book, the people who they're going, who are going to see it are going to be their clients, the franchise or people, correct? Right. Correct. Okay. Um, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. So I'm going to take you off camera temporarily because that one took a lot less time than I thought. Lori's a layup. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay. All right. So Lori's gonna, I gotta figure out how to do this. Okay. So Lori is going to disable talking. Okay. Back to me. All right. So we'll see if we have time to play with other people along the way, but that was perfect. Okay. So if you want them to be your client, you can interview them. So she could interview the CEO of little of whatever franchise company she wants to get into because what you'll find is if Lori cold calls them, she's probably not going to get very far. She's going to have seven layers of gatekeepers and bureaucracy and she's never going to get through. However, if the media department of her publishing company um, in, calls the PR rep for the company and says, I've got a media opportunity. We'd like to interview John of little, on, the podcast, on a podcast. The media rep, the PR person says, absolutely, yes. And they'll look like a hero because they won't say Lori's podcast company called me out of the blue. They will steal the credit, which is totally fine. They will go to John at Little Caesars and say, I got you another booking and you're going to be on this show. Um, what if I do not have a podcast? You're going to have one in about a minute. So stick with me. Um, I need to talk with CEO and CFOs of $25 million or more companies. It's your bread and butter. We've literally used, we, I'll tell you a quick story, everybody. Um, we had a golf coach. Um, who was literally local making 75 bucks a lesson. And I said, I'm going to make you way outside your comfort zone. I want you to, who is your ideal dream client? Money is no object. And he said, oh man, well, I see the fortune 500 executives in the charity golf tournaments and those guys make millions a year. I'd love to coach them. And I said, well, they won't pay 75 an hour. They won't value it. We need to create an amazing program. So we created, it was called the last golf lesson ever. And it was a hundred thousand dollars a year. And it included them flying my client to their golf club for a couple of days, 
and then four times a year flying him to whatever dream course they wanted to play like St. Andrews. And he played with them and coached that. And it was six figures a year. And literally when we launched this program for him, he had his first six figure client past performance is no guarantee of future success insert standard legal disclaimers, but he had his first client in 60 days and literally the first 60 days, nine people listened to the show. But one of them was the CEO he interviewed on the show and he followed our follow-up process with that CEO and that CEO said, yeah, I'd like to learn more and signed up. Um, so this works great for impossible to reach decision makers because again, it's a media opportunity for them. They don't see you as selling anything. They see it as you making them look good and them getting to show off. So stay with me. If you want someone to be your joint venture partner. So let's say um, uh, we'll use Paul. Uh, no, that's a client one. Let's use uh, do JV partner. Um, I'll use me. Market domination for podcasting. Again, another podcast book a book that came out of a podcast. Um, I interviewed some of the top podcasters in the world in here that I wanted as my joint venture partner. So when this book came out, Joel Bogus emailed his 758,000 listener base about my book. Carl Krumenacher emailed his 1.5 million subscribers uh, because he was in my book and we sold a lot of copies of the book. Um, all right, so this is Scott Holman. Scott Holman works with Inc. 500 CEOs, the fastest privately held companies and the fastest growing privately held companies in America. Um, Scott interviewed 12 Inc. 500 CEOs that we got for him, 12 of the fastest growing Inc. 500 companies, podcast, book, all of the steps I'm about to show that I'm sharing with you. And not only did this go number one on Amazon for three days straight, not only did it download 1,500 copies, um, but it launched his six figure a year Inc. 500 CEO coaching program. Uh, this is event planners put out by the event planners club. They wanted more event planners to join their membership organization. So we followed the same process, including getting some celebrity event planners to be in the book who have been on TV, like the guy who planned JLo's wedding and stuff like that. So when he tweets out, Facebook posts out, hey, I'm in this awesome book, lots of people go buy it. Um, I showed you Craig Turner earlier who is our political consultant. Um, do you see how this could work? Are you getting this? Does this make sense that if you interview someone and promote them and get them to share the interview five different ways in five different formats, you've added a whole ton of value to them so that then when you, I'll tell you our magic question in the follow-up that gets them to say yes to your sales presentation and they don't perceive it as salesy at all. But give me a yes in the chat box if this is making sense, if you can see how this would work. I need, yes, 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 yes. Awesome, okay. So we talked about giving first, five different ways. Capital, yes, awesome. We talked about who we're gonna give to, either our ideal clients or our ideal centers of influence, joint venture partners or referral partners, the people who have those clients on their list that we wanna get in front of. Now we gotta talk about how we're, give how. So in addition to the five ways you're gonna add value first, you are then going um, once a month, you're gonna send them via direct mail, a warm and fuzzy postcard. It's cheesy, it's corny, it's supposed to be, it's just designed to keep them thinking about you. Because someone who was on your podcast, it's May as we're recording this, um, we're gonna talk about the experience on the interviewing and the podcast stuff and how you don't need it and how we're gonna teach it to you. Stay with me, Sherilyn. Um, you need no technical expertise either, so hang out with me. Um, so warm fuzzy, you want to stay in front of them because if someone is on your podcast in June, you and does the five things we showed you in June and you're running a promotion in October, we don't want them to forget about you for the next four or five months. We want to stay in front of them. So we're going to send them a warm and fuzzy postcard once a month. Then the other time of the month, so twice a month, we're going to send them a gift, a small gift in the mail. It might be a box of chocolates, it might be a box of candy, it might be a journal, it might be a t-shirt, it might be something thoughtful and small. Because when we tried it the other way and we sent like Tiffany's silver platters and we sent jewel, we sent engraved gifts and they were really, really nice, um, we got accused of trying to bribe people, people sent them back, they felt bad about accepting them, um, they felt like 
it was made them, it was too obvious an obligation. So if we send a five, 10, $20 gift, nobody's complained and everyone just loves it and says, oh, thank you so much for thinking of me. And it works. And then once a quarter, we're gonna send them a multi-step lumpy mail, direct mail sales campaign. So this is a multi-step letter, multi-page, written in the Dan Kennedy direct response marketing style by us. And Josh didn't mention I've been nominated for Dan Kennedy's Marketer of the Year Award three years in a row. So we're pretty good at his stuff. And that is gonna be the campaign that's gonna get them to promote a launch that you're doing. So for example, Josh reached out to me because he know to promote his latest launch, but he sent me an email. You're gonna send them, he would have had more people and they would have been more engaged even though he did phenomenally well if he had sent them a multi-step direct mail campaign to get them interested. We're gonna write that for you. We're gonna write all the copy, provide all the materials um, to get those 50 people to then share all at the same time, the same thing, and dramatically increase your business. So that's, we're giving first, audio podcast, video podcast, blog post, social media book. We're giving to the right people. Then we're following up with direct mail twice a month and then a launch once a quarter. So literally you will have given to them five times and most likely touched them at least six times via direct mail before you say, hey, can you actually promote this? Because the show, you're saying, hey, we turned into a blog post, thought you might like to see it, thought your followers might like, who like to read more than listen might like it. And they share it. They're not thinking they're promoting you, they're promoting themselves. And they're grateful for the opportunity that you're giving them. So they're gonna to get touched like 11 times before you ever say, hey, can you promote my seminar, webinar, tell whatever it is. So let me ask, I know we're covering a lot of information. How many of you are excited about what we're talking about? Give me a I am in the chat box or in the Facebook comments. I am, I am, I am, awesome. Mel is excited with exclamation points. Beautiful. Okay. So you might also feel like this guy. I've thrown a lot of information at you. Hopefully you're taking lots of notes, but you might feel kind of like you're drinking like a fight from a fire hose. Um, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel, right? You can see the light. There's hope because you're like, wait a second. If I followed this process, it would work. Is it okay with you if I share with you how you can get it done for you? Give me a yes. I imagine this could be great. You are correct. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Okay. So again, we're giving first five times. We're giving to the right people who either we want to hire us or who we want to get in the door with. And then we're giving, we're following up multiple times via direct mail. So this is my wonderful wife, Rebecca. And those are our kids again, Max, Ella, and Lily. Now, because of this process and the 74 referral partners we have, um, I coached Max's soccer team, he is our goalie, for 24 seasons in a row. I was at almost every game and every practice, except when I was traveling. Um, he recently moved up this year to a more competitive league that has professional coaches, not volunteer dads. So I get to just watch the games as opposed to coaching them. But I've been to every game. This is Ella, she's our actress. That's her being Annie and aw, thank you, Lori. Um, that's her being Annie and Annie. Something super cool that happened last summer was we got a phone call on a Friday from her manager saying, um, I got, we, we got, would she like to audition for Frozen on Broadway in the role of young Anna? And we said, yes, she would. And they said, can you be here Monday? And I said, we don't live in New York City. And they said, oh, can you be here Monday anyway? So I moved all my meetings, grabbed some last minute plane tickets, which were not cheap. Um, we flew to New York City, she auditioned for Frozen, and then we spent the rest of the day me giving her a tour of my old stomping grounds when I used to live in New York and live near and on 101st and Broadway and showing her around Broadway. So um, she has forever a story of when I was nine, my daddy and I went to, and I auditioned, took me to New York and I auditioned for Broadway. Uh, aw, thanks, Mel. Um, this is her with Corey Cott, who's the star of the Broadway show Newsies. And she got to be in a Broadway sh a showcase with him. Um, and that again was in another city and we had to drive back and forth, drive back and forth, drive back and forth. But again, I was able to leave work early. I was able to spend the time driving her, waiting for her in rehearsal and then driving her home because I didn't have to worry about where my next client was coming from. Oh, how was the Frozen audition? Awesome, she crushed it. Um, as far as we know, we haven't heard anything. Um, so either she didn't get it 
or they haven't recast yet. So we know we have not gotten confirmation saying that she doesn't have it or that, and obviously they didn't call and hire her because we would have moved to New York. So again, seven books. Um, is it worth it? So let me tell you what you're going to get and answer Sherilyn, Sherilyn's question. We're going to do all the research for you and identify after we talk to you, obviously, if your account rep is going to work with you and then do all the research to find who should your dream 50 people be. We're going to build that list out for you. Um, oh, if you don't like talking to people, don't do this. Um, it won't work. Um, Shama says maybe twice. What does maybe twice mean? Um, we're going to do the multi-step direct mail campaign to get them to be on your show. If they don't respond to that, we're going to send them email. If they don't respond to that, we're going to message them on LinkedIn. And if they don't respond to that, we're going to physically pick up the phone and call them to get them to be on your show. Now, once they say yes, we're going to write the interview questions for you. So all you have to do is read. Um, then we have a multiple Emmy award winning team that is going to practice interviewing with you. We're going to train you on how to interview and how to bring out like your inner Oprah. Um, Sherilyn, don't worry. You won't have to get anyone to cry or jump on chairs or anything like that. Um, we're going to teach you how to record the interviews. Usually you're going to do them on Zoom just like this. If you do not have any recording equipment, um, like mics and stuff like that, we will send you a podcast studio at no extra charge. And again, it's not very technical. We will literally, if you have no tech expertise whatsoever, you can still do it. Um, if you can't handle any more business, if you're too busy right now, don't do this. Because obviously the goal is it takes time to build relationships, but it's going to turn into business and hopefully a lot for you. So if you're maxed out, don't bother. Um, we're going to type up every word of every recording that you do and edit those transcripts to turn into the blog posts in the book. And again, our multiple Emmy award winning team is going to write a chapter about you and how fabulous you are and what you do in the book. We're going to do our award winning graphic designers are going to make it look good. Um, if you're about to go out of business, don't do this. I can't save you. Um, that's not my job. Um, it's a significant investment or it's free depending on how you, how you do it. But it is a, this can't be your last ditch effort. You've got to be successful already. Um, then we're going to publish the book to Amazon. We're going to publish the book to Kindle. We're going to do an Amazon bestseller campaign to get your book to the top of Amazon so that you can say truthfully, you have an Amazon bestselling book. Then um, we're going to, again, you're going to have a weekly podcast. It'll take four to six weeks to get up and running. But after we've gotten you the interviews, you're going to have a show aired, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. When you get enough listeners, we'll get you to iHeartRadio and Stitcher and YouTube every single week. You're going to have ego bait cover graphics every week where the guest is highlighted with their quotes, best quote of the show so that they share it even more because they look super smart. How do I get this for free? I'm getting there. I'm getting there, Mel. I'm glad you're excited. So if you add up the retail value of all of that. Oh, and we're going to do the blog post for you too, by the way. We're going to write, we're going to take the transcript and use it as an SEO optimized interview blog post and blast it out with our proprietary SEO software to help get your website ranked more in Google. That alone is like worth the whole cost, the whole investment. This is Mitch Russo who said in 30 days, he gained 70 organic keywords on Google, improved his ranking 200,000 places on Google and increased the social media shares of his website by 50%. Now, past performance, no guarantee of future success, standard legal disclaimers apply, results not typical. You may not get the same results as Mitch. Mel is so excited, awesome. So if you add that all up, that's where the $33,010 come from, and that is legitimately what it's worth. Um, that is our goal level. We do have a platinum level that we'll talk about in a minute. But again, at $33,010, would it be worth it? If you wrote us a $33,000 check and we built this and did all of this for you, would it be worth it? Let's see what Roger had to say. I woke up this morning to find out that Retirement Base Camp, our project, reached number one on a cup on a Amazon bestseller list in the financial category. Pretty exciting since the book's only been out for like a week. Uh, thanks for everything. It's awesome. It's a great ride to be on. I feel like I'm at the apex of my life, and thanks to you and your team, this is going to really be a boost to the uh, last part of my career. Okay, so that's Roger. Um, my mentor, Tony Robbins, says if you can, and who was, I was on a live stream with for like two hours last night, says if you continue to do what you've always done, you'll continue to get what you've always got. 
So I'm hoping you're attending this because you want something different and I'm biased. I think we're that something different and we're going to make it easy for you because if you want, we'll do all the work for you. Now, there are two big reasons why people won't do this. Um, number one, procrastination. This isn't the first web class you've attended. You took good notes, hopefully. You got excited. Mel is so excited. But then phone's going to ring. Kid's going to get sick. Life is going to get in the way. Client's going to have a crisis or an emergency and you're going to forget about it. And it's just not going to get done. It's going to go in the someday pile, and which is really the never pile. So I know I have a three inch, ring, three inch thick binder of ideas to implement. Um, the difference is every day, I, every week I block off an hour, grab the first one, get it done, and then I keep plowing through it. Um, the other one is the money. 33,010 is obviously a significant investment. We're going to make you a 48 hour incredible offer to get you over the procrastination hump. Again, we're in, and again, there is an option to get it for free. So you're going to give first. We showed you the five ways. You're going to give to the right people, and you're going to give how by following up with direct mail like at least six times, and then these people are going to ha be happy to promote you and share your marketing. I like your three-ring binder idea. Thanks, Mel. You're going to be like my favorite person on today's call. Um, okay, so $33,010. Um, for the gold level, um, why do we have a 48 hour deadline? Because if I let you procrastinate, you will. We used to do it without a deadline and it took people, like people would say three weeks later, oh, hey, can I do it now? Or because there was no deadline, they weren't forced to make a decision. It's human nature. We wait till the last minute. 80% of our enrollees are going to sign up when there's like 20 minutes left on the deadline. That's what's happened. Um, so that's why we have a deadline because otherwise you won't do it. Again, 33,010, you're not going to pay that. But if all it did was turn you into a podcast host with your dream 50 people as guests, would it be worth it? If all it did is turn you into a published author with your dream clients and joint venture partners, is it worth it? Um, and all it does is turn you into a blogger with your top 50 clients and referral partners, is it worth it? I'm biased, but the answer is yes. Gold regular place, $33,010 today only. It's 28% off for 48 hours. Takes it down to $23,964. But wait, there's more. Um, you can get it at marketdominationllc.com slash stream 50. I'm not going to ask you for a 23,964 check. I'm going to let you make 12 payments of 1997. So it's a whole lot more affordable. Again, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to get it for free if the 1997 is an issue. Um, okay, so the platinum level, you get everything in gold and the monthly postcard that we send out. You get the monthly gift that we pick for you and send out. And we get the quarterly letter quarterly marketing campaign, multi-step lumpy mail, Dan Kennedy campaign written for you. So if you add up those, you are now at 51,010. Don't worry, you're not gonna pay 51,010. We'll throw you another 29% off. We'll drop it to 35,964, but wait, you can make payments on that one too. 2997 a month for 12 months. In a second, again, I'll show you how to get it for free. This is Syracuse University where I went to college. My parents spent $120,000 on my college education 20 years ago, and I'm not, the field I work in has nothing to do with my degree. So perhaps you too have a similar situation where there was, that money could have been invested into my marketing education. I would have made a whole lot more money and I'd be a lot further along. You might have a house that costs you a couple hundred thousand dollars that takes money out of your pocket every month for the mortgage payment. And unless you're renting on an Airbnb, you're not getting any money back. So this is a fraction of both of those investments to totally explode your business. Again, it's at marketdominationllc.com slash stream 50, but wait, there's more. I'm going to throw in some awesome bonuses before I tell you how to get it to for free. Um, every week, I conduct weekly office hours via Facebook Live. Um, you get access to tune in every week. You can listen to people, ask questions, or you can ask your own. It's like an ask me anything. I also share uh, really cool stuff that's working. That is $197 a month. You're going to get that for free. I coach a monthly mastermind group, um, about four, 30 people here locally in Buffalo and a number around the world who pay to watch me teach two to three hours of our best marketing content, not just the strategy, but everything we do. Every month, it's normally $297. You're going to get access to that for free in addition to the Facebook membership group where you can talk to all the other members. You're going to get my book of the month club which is normally $4.97, I read a book a day. Literally, I read a book a day. That's 30 a month. I send you the best book out of the 30 I read. It costs me 500 bucks a month to buy all the books that I read. I'm giving you the best one. 
Plus you'll get our best audio interview of the month because I interview somebody uh, and I interview an expert in their topic at least two or three times a month, a week. You'll get that. And then you also get the best, you'll get the DVD uh, video training of some really cool marketing strategies every single month. That's four ninety seven. That is also free. Um, you'll get direct email access to me. You will be working with a project manager and an account rep um, who is not me, um, but you will have email access to ask me questions and ask for advice. That, of course, is priceless. $991 a month in additional bonuses for free at either level, whichever level you sign up for. So how do you get it for free? There's two ways. Once you can get it for free because once it works, you can cut out doing all kinds of other marketing that you're wasting money on right now that isn't working very well for you, which means you could probably save two to $3,000 a month by getting rid of that stuff. Now that isn't the sexy version of free. You want to know how to get it really, really free. Here's the deal. You've got 12 months. It's a 12 month program. In those 12 months, send three clients our way who hire us and yours is then free. So from then on, so you've got 12 months and the three people you send us could be guests from your show um, who could say, wow, that was really great. And you could say, hey, want this done for you? Talk to my team. And then they hire us. You get three of those people. They could be people you already know, people you haven't met yet, or part of your dream 50 people could hire us because they like the experience so much. You do three um, in the next 12 months and then yours is free. Send three, get it for free. Um, so again, um, the gold level is 1997. The platinum level is 2997. Those are available at marketdominationllc.com slash dream50. I'm going to type it into the chat box. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to stop my screen share for a second. And then we're going to talk. We're going to give out our prize. And we're going to answer questions. Okay, so if you go to Dream 50, it looks like this. Um, oh, somebody just asked, can you show the list of what's included again? Yes. So here, stop share. Um, show the platinum list of stuff included, sure. On platinum, back to the slideshow. So you get gold, which is everything up to and including the SEO blog post and then every week. And then platinum, the additional platinum is the monthly postcard, monthly gift and quarterly direct mail campaign. And where did my chat box go? It vanished. Okay. Um, we're going to give out a prize, um, which was a physical copy of both Market Domination for Podcasting and the Facebook Ninja, my best-selling book about Facebook marketing. Um, both of those physical copies going out the door for free. I believe we had, uh, got to go to Mel. Mel wins. Best engagement, she wins. Most engaged all the way through. Um, so most positive feedback. Uh, so Mel pulls it out at the end. Mel, message me your address and we will snail mail these out to you tomorrow. I'm going to take a breath and a sip of water and you guys can type in your questions. And depending, we can either bring you, my clients or government employees, they cannot receive gifts. Okay, so we'll get rid of the gifts. I mean, the gifts are small, five to 20 bucks, but I get it. Um, I I'm also in the financial services industry. That's my original business. And there we sometimes have limits that we can only give $100 a year in terms of gifts. So we can't do a gift every month in financial services. We have to do like one a quarter so we don't go over that rule. If they can't get gifts at all, we'll just cut that part out. So either do gold with no gifts or do platinum and we'll reduce the fee. So it's normally 3000 for the monthly gift. That's like 300 bucks. So if you wanted to do it without the gifts, I could do, let me know directly and I'll get you a price break. Um, here, email address. Um, will we be sending out a recording? Yes. We've got to wait for the video to render and then upload to get it onto the page, but yes. Also, this is my cell phone. 
Um, I'm on the East Coast with little kids, so don't text me or call me at, too late at night. But it text me first, and I'll answer if I can. And then if we need to have a phone conversation, we can. But again, you've got 48 hours. Today's Wednesday, so you have till um, Friday um, at 5 p.m. Eastern. We'll do the deadline when the price goes back up to normal. So the guests sign a contract for the podcast that enables you to use their stuff in your book. Uh, they media release form. So it's not a contract, it's a media release, it's one page. Um, we have a number of clients who don't even use it because they've never had a problem and it's not an issue. But we have our clients who are more concerned with dotting every I and crossing every T and they will have their guests sign a release form. And we've never had a guest refuse to do it. So we provide one for you. Again, I'm not a lawyer, don't play one on TV. I can't give you legal advice. So you should have your lawyer review our release form, but you're welcome to have it and use it for free and we've never had a guest say no. Chris says, thank you. I say, you're welcome. Okay, Josh Turner, Josh picked up the first, oh, I forgot to tell you, we got six slots. Um, simply because there's a, obviously as you can tell, there's a ton of manual labor involved in all of this. So we can't, I can't take 30 clients. We just don't have the bandwidth. Um, there were seven, Josh took the first one. There, are, there were six. Um, Bruce says, I signed up. Awesome, that's five. And again, you've got 48 hours. Other questions? Uh, Craig, it looks like you raised your hand. Um, what is your question, Craig? Craig, uh, you wanna come on here. I'll make it so you can come on camera. Do you wanna unmute yourself? Hello, Craig. Are you, it says you're still here. Um, nothing just hit by accident. Okay, I will take away the allowed to hang on. Ah, sorry, I meant more people. Hang on. Disable talking, disable talking. Okay, there we go. Um, I would love to work with you. I will work on sending clients to you. Yay, Mel. Um, can I get your feedback about my show, please? Sure. Uh, just so you know, again, the get it for free by sending us clients, you got a year to do it because uh, it's a year long program. So don't let, don't fall into that procrastination trap. Don't fall into the, I'm going to go get him clients first and then hire him, hire them because then it'll be free from the beginning because you won't get it done. We've had people try that. You just won't get it done. Um, you won't do as fabulous job selling it as them experiencing it will. Um, so I would urge you, if that was what you were procrastinating about, don't wait, do it, hire us and get the guests along the way, get the clients along the way. And of course, let us help you because we'll be getting you people. Any other questions? Go on once, go on twice. Okay. All right. Um, oh wait, I, looks like I missed one. Can you show the plan again? Yes, okay, hang on, from current slide, sure, share, Me oh, is that what you're looking for, the stack, the list of everything? And then there was some, there was another question which I missed. Oh no, I got that one, that was the pod, the, the center release form. Can you show the plan again? Oh, the payment plan, sure, okay. So platinum is, okay, so gold is 1997, 12 months. Platinum is 29.97. So here, stop share, share to the website. It's on Dream 50. Any podcast we could look at? Yeah, you bet. Um, hang on one second. We have a ton. Um, Publishing, hang on. Okay, those are books that have come out of podcasts. You want podcasts, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. To do, do, stop, Shh, hang on. I'm hitting too many buttons at the same time. Give me two seconds. Me two. Yeah, in addition to Sharkpreneur, obviously, which is mine, top six. Um, 
do, we have a page on our site with a list of all of our podcasts. Um, let me see it. Hang on two seconds. I apologize. Do, do, do. There we go. Hang on. Yep, I will put that all out there for you. Yeah, if you go to marketdominationllc.com, it's there. Um, please tell Josh Leopard Man said thanks for the info. I will tell Josh Leopard Man said thanks. Awesome. John Leopard. You may win for the best last name. Other questions? Signing off. Okay, awesome. All right, uh, thanks, Lori. Thanks, Mel. Thank you for the thank yous. All right, go to marketdominationlc.com slash stream 50. Uh, oh, Kristen says I signed up. Okay, five slots left. Um, all right, five, 48 hours. Look forward to working with you. Thanks so much, everybody, for being here.